Hello world, in this video I am going to analyze the nutrition facts of cooked cassava and explain some of its health benefits. Cassava also called as manioc or yuca is a tuberous edible plant grown in the tropical and subtropical countries. It is a highly drought tolerant staple food crop that is a valuable food source in many developing countries. Consuming cassava without cooking can be toxic. Hence, it must be consumed only after cooking. Cassava flour is used in bread making and a famous West African food Gary is also prepared from its roots. In the year of 2020, Nigeria was the largest producer of cassava in the world, followed by Democratic Republic of the Congo and Thailand. I welcome you to the Research Your Food content platform. At Research Your Food, I create content related to food science and nutrition. This video is a part of the food science and technology series. To get the latest updates about our videos, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Now let's get into the topic. About 55% of the total weight of cooked cassava is water. It's much lesser amount compared to other tubers such as potatoes and sweet potatoes. 39.6% of the total weight of these tubers is carbohydrate. This is the only major nutrient that provides energy from these root vegetables. The dietary fiber content of cassava is quite low. It stands at just below 2%. If you are consuming this frequently, Make sure that you add more fiber rich foods to your diet. Even the sugars percentage in these tubers is very less. It stands at just 1.77% of their total weight. The major portion of the carbohydrate present in cassava is starch. Now let's look at the fat and protein content. Cassava contains almost no fat. The reason why you see 3% fat in the table is because during the cooking process of cassava, 3 grams of fat was added. Raw cassava roots contain as little as 0.28% fat. Since the fat content of these root vegetables is so low, we cannot depend on them for obtaining essential fatty acids. These tubers also seriously lack all the fat soluble vitamins A, D, E and K. Hence, people dependent on these tubers on a regular basis must try to consume other food groups rich in these vital nutrients. As you can see in the table, even the protein content of these tubers is just about 1.5% which is considered as very poor quantity. Cassava falls into moderate calorie foods category. 100 grams of these provide 191 calories or about 800 kilojoules of energy. Now let's look at the vitamins, minerals and health benefits of cassava. Cooked cassava roots contain a small number of vitamins and minerals in modest amounts. Vitamin C is the most prevalent vitamin present in these tubers at 20% daily value. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps our body in fighting with infections and wounds. This vitamin is also involved in making several hormones and neurotransmitters. Other vitamins present in these tubers are B-complex vitamins such as thiamine, folate, vitamin B6 and niacin. There are only three minerals present in these tubers in mentionable amounts. Copper is the most abundant of all followed by potassium and magnesium. Copper is an essential mineral that works with iron in forming red blood cells. It also helps in iron absorption. Potassium is an electrolyte. It helps in nerve function and muscle contractions. Magnesium helps in regulating blood pressure, blood glucose and heartbeat. Looking at the nutrition facts of cooked cassava roots, we can say that these are not really well balanced food items. The only major nutrient present in them is carbohydrate. These tubers provide energy but are very poor sources of many essential nutrients such as protein, fat, fat soluble vitamins and majority of minerals. These tubers are also poor source of dietary fiber. On the other hand, they contain a good amount of vitamin C and copper. 
Over dependence on cassava is not healthy. I would suggest you to consume a well balanced diet consisting of different food groups such as fruits, vegetables, nuts and animal based foods. In addition to these tubers for good health. Here comes the end of the story for today. Let us know if you have any questions. If you like the video hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you like our content consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and follow researcherfood.com website. Thanks for joining us. I hope to see you in my next video.